Today we're going to be doing some still life art and these are examples of still life art that you see here on the screen. Uh, artists use still life to make art from observation of real life objects. So it's usually fruit, flowers, things that you might see in the kitchen. These three examples are still lifes made from using different types of techniques. Um, so they, artists might use different materials to create still life art. These examples are all made using mixed media and collage. Using different media can enhance the colors and the textures in the still life art. Knowing how to shade and value forms, which we learned in a previous class, can help with drawing still life objects. So you can see the forms here and how they might be similar to a still life setup or using objects that are similar to still life objects. Forms make up the base shapes of these objects. The artist takes the next step to add details and then turns the forms into different objects in the still life. What forms do you see the artist using here? We are going to be creating our own mixed media still life. We will observe a still life in our classroom, which um, you see set up here. And then we're going to use different materials to draw and shade our fruit and collage our fruit onto a background made from other materials. We will use shading techniques that you learned in your previous form lesson to show detail on the collage. Shade your fruit with a dark, underneath a medium in the middle and a light color on top to represent the light source hitting the object. So you can see the different materials here that we will be using. To make a symmetrical vase you want to fold your paper in half and draw the shape of your vase. It could be any shape that you choose if you want to do it square or a circular vase or a natural curve um, type of vase, any creation of your own. Uh, then you will cut on the line that you draw with your paper still folded and when you open it your vase will be symmetrical or the same on both sides. We'll want to cut out all the fruit pieces that you made also so please try to make at least five pieces of fruit because you want to be able to fill up the space of your background good and have a lot of variety and color so about five pieces is, a, is good, five or more. And this is an example of the background um, that you can make do is using the next techniques that we're going to learn. So this is using tissue and actually printing with a geometric stamp shape. We will use starch, which I uh, just like the stay flow liquid starch here is fine, um, and apply a tissue paper collage. So first you want to get a little bit of starch on your paintbrush and apply it to the paper, um, just using a back and forth motion. And then you're going to lay down your tissue strip carefully on top of that, and it should kind of stick down to the paper when you do. And then you may want to take your brush and just kind of go back over the tissue there and sort of press it down onto the paper and you continue to lay your strips until you get a nice coated background like you see here. Um, you can even layer the strips to create new colors. You can leave a line in the center to show uh, the difference between the table and the background behind the fruit. And then finally the last step will be to choose a shape that you would like to print on top of the tissue paper and this just kind of creates depth in the background and it makes the background you know a little bit toned down uh, so that your fruit will show up so you'll stamp that on there and then you'll want to arrange your once your background is dry we'll go back and arrange the fruit on top of the background so you don't want to glue right away but maybe kind of move your fruit around and do some overlapping and making sure that your darkest colors are laying at the bottom to show the shadows and then finally we're going to observe the flowers here in the room and um, when you look at those you notice that the leaves and the petals are very organic and natural shapes so the best easiest way to get that uh, look is to just tear little pieces of our scrap left from our collage. So if we just tear our pieces into petals and leaves and arrange those and we're going to glue those down and make sure we kind of spread them out to look like a bouquet of flowers. And you can even use some of the little tissue scraps that we have also if you want to add some 
texture to your still life. And here we have our beautiful finished mixed media still life art. So you can see it's very colorful and looks very similar to our um, original to our to our still life in the room here. But we've used lots of different techniques and it's very interesting to look at. I hope you learned quite a bit about still life and learned a lot about techniques while doing this art lesson.